that as immoral intentions and you could be brought up on charges under the Mann Act. Governor Spitzer was somebody that was going to be charged with the Mann Act after he solicited prostitute in D.C. as governor of New York. What about um, tax and spam? What was the, the example there? Oh, something that affects many of you. Go ahead, Diana. What, what, what issue? Yeah, what, what issue was it? What, what was it? It was a national drinking age. The drinking age. Go ahead, Slippin. Um, was that tax and spend? Was that the thing? Um, oh, I, I was maybe I'm thinking of something different. Was that the thing where? Um, never mind. Okay, never mind. tax and spend totally. dealt with the national drinking age. Yes. There is no national drinking age, and if you remember, what was it that the government tried to do to create one? Go ahead, Abraham. Uh, they would give these people five percent extra in their budget. Yes. If Federal government guarantees X amount of dollars for the states, and it's based on the amount of roads that they have. So it makes sense Texas would get way more than Vermont, Pennsylvania, New York would be somewhere in between. Well, they're basically saying, based on the highway funds that you're guaranteed, if you raise the drinking age to 21, we will give you 5% extra uh, highway funds for free. Virtually all of the states did it, but South Dakota sued. Why did South Dakota lose? Yes. And what did the court say? It's completely constitutional. Yeah, the court said in looking at this, and I might have missed this in the 9 o'clock class, but let me make sure that I'm really clear with this. They gave you an incentive, so it was X plus 5%. You have the choice of accepting it or not. What I didn't mention in the 9 o'clock class was, if they would have said it was X minus 5%, and if you don't raise the drinking age. So they're basically saying, if you raise the drinking age, we guarantee you X. And if you don't, then we're going to say X minus 5%. That's not a choice. That is blackmail. And the, they said that the, the government didn't do this. They're giving you an incentive to say yes. They're not forcing you. And if you don't want to do it, say no. And many of the states didn't. And Louisiana came up in several of the classes today. Go ahead, Adrian. So, so if right now, if they wanted to, could they change it back to so they won't do it? Um, it, to, to this point, basically all of the states have accepted the money. So all of them just about, and Louisiana was one of the last ones on this, they've all basically taken it to 21. If they decided that they weren't, it would just go back to X, and they're free to do that at any time. So can they have these money back? No, no, they would just not get the money for the new for the year. year. Yeah. yeah, for the new year. And then what was privileges and immunities? Maybe mercifully the last one dealt with the unemployment scam that I ran from Pennsylvania to North Carolina. Yes, Abraham. Unemployment benefits? Yes, thank you. It's about unemployment benefits. Yeah, the scam that I ran from Pennsylvania to North Carolina. Um, as far as articles go, for Chapter 3, Trayvon. I don't know how I'm going to ask Trayvon, but it's one of those things where it's probably going to be a discussion-based kind of a thing. The other one was the Oklahoma law dealing with viewing the fetus. And the Oklahoma law dealing with viewing the fetus, there were two laws. Make sure you're familiar with both of those. Um, Gabby told me that I messed up in posting the belief quizzes. So what I'm going to do is fix that. For liberal, conservative, libertarian, and populist, we're basically talking about how much government should regulate morals and how much it should regulate wallet or economic issues. Make sure you know conservative believes in regulating this and not regulating that. Liberal believes in regulating this and not regulating that. One of them is going to believe in regulating everything, and one of them is going to believe in regulating nothing. You'll watch the video, and it will make perfect sense. And if I call somebody out for being too damn crazy and say, if you get a question like, so-and-so's the answer, make sure you know that, because I'm not pulling your chain. All right. <laughs> Anybody with any other questions about this? Yes, Manuel. Libertarian and populist. Yes. Yeah. If you look at the video, it'll break it down for you. We didn't cover it in class yet, but it's 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 on the tape. Yeah, Michael. In the beginning, the states had more power than the federal government did. Yes, Amiga. Uh, I'm going to be in there at eight o'clock on Friday morning. 
and y'all can come in as you choose. Couple of pieces on this just to make sure that I remind you of. Number one, it's going to be the bulk of which will be multiple choice. There are going to be a, a good dose of short answers in there. So with this in mind, um, it's, if you've taken me for a longer class, there's going to be more multiple choice than usual for you. So keep that in mind. It's not going to be as much written. The other piece on this, don't be the first person to turn it in. If you take 20 minutes on this, you will fail. Don't do it. Sure about that? If you take 20 minutes and sit and wait for somebody else to turn it in, you're still going to fail because you didn't spend as much time on it. The, the short answers, I can't trick you with what I'm going to put on there, but I can trick you with how. And the multiple choices will be questions like you've never seen because your names are going to be in these questions. You're going to be breaking laws, having babies, whatever, killing boyfriends, all of these things. And then the last thing on this is for the short answers that you get, Show me what you know. If you write me three sentences, it's not going to be enough. But if you write me a seven-point answer for a five-point question, well, I'll give you 140% on that. You can write your own curve. And if you write me a three-point answer, that's a 60%, and I'll certainly give you credit for that. So take your time. Show me what you know. Be specific. And be ready, because there's going to be some folks laughing. <laughs> Good luck. It, it, it depends. Some people can do it really well in 50 minutes. Some people, it takes them a little bit longer. Um, some people, if you give them extra time, will take all of it. It just depends. You could do it in 50 minutes effectively, but you need to be motivated to do it. You know, yeah.